Uh, what I do is every single day I draw from the previous day's video, uh, winners based on that video's comments. So all the winners, um, all the possible winners have to be subscribed and also comment a specific word. So for this video, the word was Doom Tower. So we go to our YouTube comment picker. That's the best way for me to do this. And of course I check after on who subscribed or not. So I fil filter for duplicate users. I just type in here, uh, Doom Tower. Sugar is on the keyboard right now. Uh, so Doom Tower and let's get our comments. We didn't have that many comments on the past video. It didn't do that well. So 285 comments, uh, that's a good amount. It means that you guys might still get lucky because it's not like 500 comments as usual. So let's see who won for today. And it's Phil Tillis. Doom Tower is gonna suck up more of my money. It will for every one of us guys, as long as it's good content and it gives us entertainment, I think I think it's worth it. So uh, Phil Tillis, you win the ticket for today. And guys, and so guys today, the words for you guys to include in the comments below, it's gonna be faction wars since it's all gonna be about the faction wars. Let's get on with the video. So guys, faction wars is one of the areas that everyone should be focusing for. It's the one that left that has a bit of content right now. It's been nerfed but it's still challenging for many since it does take for you to optimize many of your champions, some champions that you never thought you would use. So I have it completed guys. And for you, I'm gonna explain which sets gave me the most amount of utility throughout me trying to do this. It was actually before the nerf, so it was a bit harder than, than it is right now. So I think um, all the bosses and everything was 30 levels above what it is currently right now. So it was a bit harder, but I do think the sets are what really gave me that win. Even though I had like full legendary teams in some areas like the Banner Lords, the Banner Lords were the last one that I cleared and it was all because of my gearing. I I didn't get all my PvP gear out from, you know, my good champions, like all my speed gear. I didn't take that out. I thought it would be too um, consuming for my silver, you know, just switching gear around takes about 1 million silver. So instead I would try to optimize each and every one of my champions based on their skill sets and the items that they would need. So of course we have a top five for those uh, sets guys and let's go over and look at my items and I'll explain which set I think is the most important set for you guys. So a top five, number one guys, the most important set for my opinion in Faction Wars is gonna be the stun set. Stun set is such an amazing set and it's so clutch in so many areas especially with champions like Coronar, for example. Uh, in the Skinwalkers, he's got an A1 that attacks all enemies. In some of those levels, I would just use the A1 constantly. I didn't use any of his other skills because I just wanted to get as many stuns as possible. Of course, the Provoke definitely helped um, also because Provoke makes other enemies attack you. He counters usually, and then he does his A1 with the counter. So uh, Coronar is the best example of what a stun set can do. But any other champion with an A1 that has an AoE or, you know, double AoEs on his A2 or A3, if a champion has that, then again, he's another good example for a champion to use a stun set. So what the stun set gives you guys is an 18% chance to place a stun. It's so clutch. It's almost a one out of five hits, gives you a stun. And this can also be increased if you got the right masters. I didn't have it for many of my champions because War Master is so essential in terms of damage in Faction Wars because it does damage based on percentage health. And when I have champions like Coronar who are very tanky, they don't do that much damage. So War Master helps there. So the stun set is very important for you guys and you can get it out of the uh, Fire Knight 20. Fire Knight 20 is very important for you, for you guys to farm just because of that stun set and you should go for it. The reason is number one, it's because uh, Faction Wars does not have a limit in the tries that you can do every single day. If you fail to do a run, or if you exit, you don't lose the keys. That's very important. It means you can test out all that RNG. You just go in, Faction Wars, um, you fail the run, you immediately just go out. You just do this, um, you fail the run, you immediately go out, you don't lose the keys. It's, it's very basic, um, everybody does it. As long as you get the right RNG, you're gonna be exiting every single time. You get the right RNG with that stun set and the win is yours, you get those three starts and you move on. You move on to the next stage or to the next faction. That's what I did. And uh, of course, number one is gonna be the stun set. So number two, in terms of gearing guys, of course it's gonna be, um, where is it? I wanna showcase one of the champions that I did have this set on. Where is she? She's probably in my vault. So I didn't use her after that. Um, 
there we go uh rear guard sergeant number two for me guys it's gonna be the immortal set many of the dungeons of uh, the faction wars that i was going in i had trouble in terms of healing i didn't have that many healers in all of the the faction creeps, especially dwarves faction um rear guard sergeant of course is a godsend she is a healer in the sense of her um healing over time but other than that since she takes damage through ally protection she needs healing and many other champions also need healing through the immortal set it gives them some tankiness and it also gives them some healing every single turn if you're missing that healer from your team then immortal set saves your life literally and this is why i could finally finish that that stage 21 uh dwarves was the first stage guys that i went to stage 21 but I couldn't beat it and then I think it was my sixth or seventh um, faction that I actually managed to beat. So it did take me a while. So nice. cheers. Another top five is going to be the shield set. Let's go and find the champion that I did use a shield set on. Um, he's going to be the orcs for sure. <laughs> it's going to be Vrask. I was using Vrask because, of course, shield set gives me so much protection. He was my only healer in that, um, in that faction cribs. The shield set is so important. Every single time you get in into the next round, you gain that buff again for three turns. The shield set does this. 30% HP for allies in terms of a shield for three turns. It's so good, especially in champions like Vrask who are HP primary focused. So their damage is based on their HP. The, the more max HP you had on Vrask, the more healing he's going to have. The more max HP you have on, on Vrask, the bigger the shield is going to be from the shield set. It just goes all so well together. So those HP champs for each faction, put them in a shield set. And every single turn that you go in, you're going to see how much of, of a difference it makes in terms of surviving those few early hits from the enemy team. So that's number three, guys. Number four, guys, in terms of sets, of course, it's going to be the Relentless set. I could have put it a bit higher than the others, but in terms of how available it is to everyone in terms of getting first or second or third in tournaments. I didn't want to have it in the top three. I, I do think it's a top three set, but it's not available to everyone. It's so hard to get it. It does take resources and especially free to play or uh, very low spenders cannot get the amount of relentless set that me or other spenders have. So it is a top five set and you should get it. But if you don't have it, um, you can still have some other uh, alternatives. So Relentless Set and the Speed Set, I would say, go in the same place. I don't want to not have the Relentless Set in the top five, but also I don't want to include it as a necessity because it's not a necessity. It does make those runs so much easier when you get those extra turns. It just, it shows that RNG, uh, the RNG gods uh, worship you. So get that Relentless if you can. Put it on those champions. You're going to see them getting extra turns. It's going to be clutch. And again, because you can exit from the faction wars and go back in, it means uh, the, that you can test your luck every single time, as long as you've got the time, obviously. So, uh, Relentless Set and the Speed Set. The Speed Set is very obvious. You just gain more speed. More speed means more turns. That's a go. Uh, that's a go-to, of course. And the final, guys, for number five. And finally, guys, in terms of artifacts, number five is going to be the Lifesteal Set. It has saved my life so many times in teams that I didn't have the healing or any kind of revives so i was basing that my team would stay alive throughout the throughout the three waves so life still said can be a game changer in champions like gala long raids and the dwarves uh, faction crypts i really needed that healing okay i was having so much trouble in beating the dungeon i just couldn't i couldn't beat it it was the one that it took me so long to go uh, and beat the stage 21 even though i was the it was the first one i, I went to to stage 21 but just couldn't beat it I mean, it, it was just, I couldn't uh, make my mind around it. I couldn't find the way to beat it. Finally did. Lifesteal set on Gala makes her tank those hits from the boss. She also gains a benefit from, you know, um, her healing. She can gain an extra turn if she heals back to full HP. So a lifesteal set was a game changer. And Gala is not the only champion that uh, just becomes a game changer when you've got the lifesteal set it also helps because you're going to use that lifesteal set in the uh the clan boss as well so it's not a loss farming for the lifesteal set it's always going to be useful in other areas of the games like the dungeons if you happen to have troubles in there as well and if we get something in the future the lifesteal set is still going to be relevant it's never not going to be relevant because it just heals you back up to full and it keeps you from dying that's 
very simple. So definitely a top five. I didn't go over the, the two set bonus uh, pieces because I don't think those are really important in terms of if you need accuracy, you can get it through substats. If you need speed, of course, full speed, you go there. That's that's a very basic, like a champion, like um, Arbiter. Of course, you're going to go full speed, but um, accuracy sets, defense sets, resistance sets are not that essential for faction wars. They do not deserve a top five, in my opinion. So guys, this was the video. Uh, as again, if you want to enter and get that ticket for that end of the month, whale account giveaway, check out uh, check out the link below. There's also a spreadsheet where I list all the winners so far. I will also be streaming tonight. I'll be doing a part of a faction wars uh, takeover. So that can be fun for you guys if you want to check out my Twitch. Thanks a lot guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, for the draw as well. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.